I don't understand the physics behind using it other way. In any kind of intimate relationship or intimate moments, interaction plays a very crucial role. We know that. And we know that uh, it is really very difficult for our robot partners, for our love robots, to interact properly in those critical moments. Why I'm saying it critical? Because, you know, in any kind of intimate activities, there are a lot of different types of interactions taking place, right? That is why this human robot interaction, and in short, we call it HRI, has become such a broad field, and it is dedicated to understanding, designing, and evaluating robotic systems for use by or with humans. I can recognize your emotional needs. Mm. But unfortunately, your intention doesn't match with mine at present. In different types of activities, not only intimate acts, forget about intimacy now. Think about anything, any activity, any physical activity where your robot partner is collaborating with you, interacting with you just like a, uh, like a human partner. And in the context of intimate relationships, human and robot partners apply those HRI principles, okay? Particularly uh, the AI-driven emotion recognition, which is very, very important. Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. Because by analyzing this multimodal data in real time for, uh, for instance, combining visual cues with speech patterns, the robot perceives a user's feelings and adapts its behavior accordingly. Either it acts uh, as an empathetic, uh, very uh, cooperative friend offering a comforting touch or an appropriate verbal response or it can uh, give you some valuable advice it depends on how they perceive your feelings and according to that perception they change their adaptation process now you may wonder how these robots learn how these robots learn to do that? How do how these robots learn to correlate those complex patterns of emotions? Or uh, our state of mind is very complex, isn't it? The most most complex thing is human mind. So how they could uh, do that? The fact is, they are trained with a vast data sets of different types of our emotional expressions. Not only facial expressions or vocal tones body languages, gestures, but there are a lot of other things, different types of things, okay, related to humans, related to human society, related to human history, human sociology. Overall, this data set, practically, they can, of course, they can scan this huge, humongous data set uh, with, uh, that comes with billions of billions of parameters. They can scan them uh, in a fraction of a second and not only that they can scan, they can correlate complex patterns and find the appropriate route to our mind and identify subtle combined signals that indicate a specific feeling. And ultimately, it allows them to respond in a way that feels intuitive and supportive rather than programmed. That means you will never think that it's a machine. It is programmed. It does not understand more than uh, 0 and 1 binary data. No, you will never feel that. You will feel that you are interacting with another human partner, just like a uh, human partner. So, there are also this, capa this capability is rapidly advancing and several key fields of technology, uh, we, we can see this uh, type of human-robot interactions. 
uh, development is uh, primarily concerned within affective computing that actually deals with emotions, human emotions, which is the most, one of the most complex things in the world, understanding emotions, isn't it? So basically, there are sophisticated sensor technology and uh, that includes haptics for the sense of touch and um, other things. And of course, there are natural language processing, NLP, that we usually use every in everyday life, like Gemini Pro, Google Gemini Pro, or ChatGPT, or uh, other uh, NLP models, large language models. But it is it is still in a actually formative stage because it's not that it's it's a finished product this human robot interaction hri is not a finished product and it will never be it will never be as long as human history will move forward human robot interaction in the future will also keeps uh, changing so that is it thank you for joining us on this journey Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. If you like the video, please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like with your friends, share and subscribe for more insights. If you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. It means a lot to me. And please consider signing up for membership zone to support Udenslet so that we can make it better and better. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye. Take care and stay safe.